Hey, it's Kerry Sullivan here with another how to kick ass in sales.com video. And today is all about how Hall of Fame basketball coach Rick Patino sells like an all star. So, Rick Patino has been one of the best basketball coaches out there over the past you know, 20, 30 years. And he's been both in the NBA and the college game, and now he's the head coach at the University of Louisville, and he's really honed in his game and his coaching skills as being a collegiate coach. And one of the interesting things about the college game is that you have to nonstop go out there and be recruiting players and selling them on your program. And he was telling the story about how there's this one player that he wants wanted bad and he was spending all his effort and all his time and energy in this one recruit going out to watch him play all the time flying out to watch him play getting on the phone writing him letters all this good stuff and then they had this opportunity to sit down with the player and his family and his basketball coach and this is just kind of how it goes right so they're going out there he's with his assistant coaches and his recruiting people and they're going out flying out to see this kid and he asked Billy Donovan who's actually the head coach at the University of Florida now he goes you know Billy how much money have we spent in travel expenses and everything else going out to see this kid he goes well it's over a hundred thousand dollars now he's like well okay we better get this kid so they're going into this recruiting meeting and I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes here you have to bear with me but so they're going out to see this kid and the assistant coaches are like you gotta say this you gotta say that and Rick Pitino goes hey guys I got this I've done this 500 times I got this so Rick Pitino goes in there and he starts talking. He starts talking about how their program is the greatest program ever, how they get the best weight rooms, how they travel in private planes, and all this good stuff, right? And at the end, you know, he went on for 45 minutes just talking and talking. And at the end, he's like, You could have heard a pin drop. And he goes to the mom, he goes, Well, I, I see you have a notepad there with some questions, and, and I see your husband does too. He goes, Do you have any questions? She goes, no, no, I don't, I don't have any questions. You, you handled everything that was on here. And then did the same thing with the recruit and the coach. And they both said the same thing. They're like, nope, you handle it. And he goes, okay, great. Um, I guess we'll go. So they're walking out of there. And Billy Donovan and the other assistants were like, that went great. You hit all the points. You nailed it. And Rick Pitino goes, that was the worst job I've ever done in trying to recruit someone. Because I didn't answer any of their real questions. I didn't interact with them. He goes, I absolutely blew it. And Billy Donovan and the other guys are going, you're absolutely crazy. You've been reading too many of those self-help books. He goes, you did a great job. And all that self-help stuff, you use a bunch of BS. And don't worry, we're going to get this kid. Sure enough, 48 hours later, that kid ends up committing to another program, going somewhere else. So Rick Pitino goes, okay, plan B. We're going to go after this other kid. He was like the number three recruit in the nation. And his assistants are like, you're crazy. We can't go after this kid. We haven't even been trying to go after this kid. And we're not on his top three list. He doesn't even, we're not even on his radar. And he goes, we're going out there. We're flying out there. We're going to meet with this kid. And we're going to get the job done. And so they did. So they went and flew out there. And they go and they, they sit down with this kid. And it's this kid. It was Tony Delt at the time. So it was this kid, Tony Delt. His mom, his dad, his two brothers, and his basketball coach. And I think his girlfriend was there too, they said. And so Rick Pitino sits down and he goes to the mom. And he goes, you know, I understand. I was reading, you know, that it's really important that your son gets an education here and gets a degree. And she goes, oh, it absolutely is. And he goes, and I see you got some other questions written down there. She goes, what's, he goes, what's going on? She goes, well, it's really important that my son gets a college degree. And specifically, I, I want him to get a business degree like his two older brothers who had also played college basketball. And so he talked to her about that and addressed that. And then he goes to the basketball coach. He goes, you know, I was watching one of your games and he goes, and you, you, you mapped out some really good three-point plays that I saw you guys execute great. He goes, he goes, could you write those down for me and show me how you did those? Because I really like to use those in my program. And so he's like, yeah, I'd love to. So he's got the coach writing it all out for him. And then he starts talking to the brothers. He goes, well, what do you think about Tony and, and his game and everything else? They're like, well, we want him to play in the NBA. We think he's good enough, but he's 6'1". He's kind of short. And we want him to be, the only way he's going to make it into the NBA is by being a point guard. 
you know, and so he talked to him about that. And so they're talking, and an hour and a half into it, the mom goes, you know what, I'm really sorry, Mr. Patino, but I haven't even offered you a drink. Would you like anything to drink? And at this time, Billy Donovan is like, hey, hey, we gotta go, we gotta go, we're gonna miss our flight. And he goes, don't take this drink, we gotta get going. And he's like, Billy, relax, right? He's like, I got this. And he goes, he goes yeah, I love a drink. And so they, they're sitting there and they're talking, and then the mom goes, you know, we're gonna have a barbecue, would you like to stay? And Billy Donovan's going, no, we gotta go, we're gonna miss our flight and everything. He's like, he's like, yes, sure, we'd love to stay. And so they stayed and they talked with the family and the recruit, recruit and everything like that. And they walk out four hours later, right? And Billy Donovan's like, we missed our flight, this is crap, we gotta drive seven hours home. And Rick Pagino goes, that went great. And Billy Donovan's going, what are you talking about? He's like, you're crazy. You didn't say one thing about the weight room, about a program, what we're about, all this other stuff. He's like, you nailed all the key points. And he goes, no, we answered all the things that were important to them and we built a relationship and this kid's gonna come through our program. And sure enough, 48 hours later, after not even being on his radar map really, they committed or he committed to coming to his program. And so Rick Pitino talked about the importance of really selling people and how you do it. And he goes, it's all about them, right? You want to ask them questions and you want to sit there and you want to actually listen to them. He goes, for every one time you're talking, they should be talking four times as much. He's like the good old four to one ratio. And this is something, you know, I've talked about Pete Carroll as well. Pete Carroll also talked about this. You know, he really has worked on his listening skills. He said it was tough for him, but he really worked on his listening skills and that's really helped him become a good coach. And that's part of, you know, selling is part of being a coach and selling people on your vision and your plan. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it's a great lesson about how when you're selling, you want to be talking and really listening good and letting them do the talking and they're going to feel like you're making them feel really special and great. So this is Kerry Sullivan with another How to Kick Ass in Sales.com video. Thanks a million for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.